Hello, uh, my name is Marcos Alonso. I come from Reactable Systems in Barcelona, in Spain. And I'm here to present you the Reactable, which is a new instrument we developed in Barcelona. In the, we started in the, in the University Pompeu Fabra, in the Music Technology Group. And we, de we developed it there, and now we are selling it through a company we started called Reactable Systems. And it's a, it's a new kind of instrument for playing uh, live music, electronic live music. And you have um, many different objects. So you play it by touching the screen and uh, moving these objects around the surface. So for example, on cubes I have um, loop players. So as long as, uh, as I put them on the, on, the, on the table, they will start sounding. And I can change things like volume or I can mute it like this or I can change the melody by rotating them changing to a different loop and the idea is that the sound goes from, from the objects to the center of the table and I can combine them so for example I have a bass line here I can add a, a percussion here and when I rotate it I change to a different percussion loop and they are already synchronized with the internal tempo of the table. So this is for the for the loop players. Other kind of objects are the the effects like the rounded squares. So if I want to affect the sound, I just put it next to the object, and I can add a, an echo, for example, or a filter. same way I can control, I have uh, extra panels to control parameters, for example in, ca in the case of a filter I can change the envelope or a filter frequency re response and the last, kind of, the last kind of objects are the controllers so for example this is an, an LFO and it's changing the filter frequency so these are like the basic blocks and this is how you make music with it and you can combine them and everything is synchronized by, by the system. So right now I'm, I'm adding more loops. I could add uh, an effect here, for example. So this is uh, mainly how it works and this is how you perform with it. And we have a version as well for, for the iPhone and the iPad that it's doing very well. And which is but it's not the same. So it's basically it's the same concepts but you, you don't have the physical objects, so you play by touching the screen. So the as I said we developed it in the University of Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona and we made uh, we had to develop the technology because there was not at the, at the moment, uh, there was no technology capable of doing this, so the detecting objects and fingertips on, on a screen. So basically the main idea is that there's a video projector inside that creates the images and a video camera that tracks the, the object symbols when they are on the surface and on your fingertips when you touch the surface. So it's a very special surface. and. This is how it works. So the camera tracks the position of the object, sends it to a computer. The computer creates the music and the, and the graphics and it's projected again. And we think it's a very nice setup for, for live music because the, there's, there are no shadows. When you play, some, some systems have projectors on top and with this one there are no shadows. And you have both finger detection and object detection. That is very nice for music, to have, having physical blocks that you can touch and, and move around like in a real instrument. So I'm very happy to be here at Rock and Company and I invite you to come here. We are in Shibuya and we are, uh, you're invited to come here and try it and, and play with it because it's 
it's nice to see it, but it's much nicer to experience it yourself and, and, and play it with your own hands.